Hey, boys and girls, welcome back to Persona 5 Tactica. In the last episode, we faced off with the final Twisted Guardian of Salmael inside of Toshiro's heart, leaving Salmael completely open for a full frontal assault. The thing is, whatever we find behind the final curtain that is con uh, fr confronting him will surely lead to the final fight of our adventure and whatever twisted game he has for his final judgment on the Phantom Thieves and their rebellious ways. No matter what, this fight we cannot lose, and or even afford to lose at this matter, since if the Phantom Thieves fall, the world will surely be destroyed, slowly but surely, due to the twisted malevolence of his belief in self-preservation. Anyone who even has an idea of change in their mind as a target of this monster. Nobody's safe, since the human mind is all about evolving and changing as a person. With the battlefield now set, and a monster of pure evil now basically upon us, we take our final stand, once and for all, with no regrets for the actions we've taken along the way to get here. So, with that being said, we are now in the end game, more than likely. I would highly doubt there will this will, you know, not be the finale for at least the main story, just based on how everything's kind of like ramped up till now. But honestly, with that being said, honestly, let's get straight on to the next battle. Since honestly, there's nothing left to do here. So I've done all the preparation work. I've definitely went in and made sure to set our skills. I think I have a plan on who we're going to use for today. I'm thinking Ryuji and Yusuke. Just because, uh, well, one for the double up on the ranged attacks. And just because Yusuke is really good for that kind of stuff. Actually, wait, no, is it? Um, now that I think about it, it actually might be a different person. <laughs> actually, let me double check. It depends on, yeah, it's Ryuji and Yusuke. In my mind, I was like, I, I thought I was right, but I wasn't 100%, just because I did it, like, a couple minutes ago. But, with that being said, honestly, I think we're more than ready uh, for today's episode. And, well, the finale of our adventure, I think. So, honestly, let's go straight on in. No reason to sit back and wait any longer. Thing is, though, is what happens now is the real question now that we truly are near the abyss of this area. And honestly, what kind of monster are we... Do you guys feel that? Isn't this... ...really gonna be dealing with? But yeah, this definitely looks like we're nearing the end. And plus, our allies are actually talking again. And we don't have to voice them like we were before. Would appear we've reached the end. The abyss where this so-called god resides. Yep, the false god of self-preservation. Samael is here, isn't it? Seemingly, for sure. Well, are you ready for this? Oh, <laughs> could you tell I'm a little nervous? Yeah, you definitely seem nervous. After all this time, I think I finally get what it means to be scared. Well, to be fair, uh, Salmael literally just wants you to be destroyed, pretty much, from what we are pretty much know. So, technically he's only targeting you, so I don't blame you. But I also have this feeling that I need to overcome this, in order for me to continue being me. Makes sense, makes sense. Win-win <laughs> win -win indeed. He's saying, uh, pretty much, don't give up. <laughs> we need to win. Let's win and put an end to this. That's what I came here for, is what he says. Yep. Although he's a little scared at the same time, and <laughs> that's all he could get out. Yeah, I don't think so. No, I definitely think so. They, I would think they would have some kind of link in their, uh, thought, thought paths with how you know, he awakened Arena. So I think that they definitely can somehow, like, at least connect in that way. Pardon me. Anxiety had my mouth trembling a bit there. <laughs> no problem, buddy. No matter the outcome, this is the last fight. Yeah, seemingly. I'm truly grateful to all of you for fighting by my side all the way here. No problem, buddy. No problem at all. Hey, it's a little early to be thanking us. 
True. That is actually very true. Let's put an end to all this and have a laugh about it after. All right. All right. Yeah, we gotta slap that phony busybody of a god with our formal rejection. Or at least in any way we possibly can, because we really don't know what we're really getting ourselves into with this one. Well, uh, we'll win and finally go home. Don't let your guard down. I feel Toshiro level nerves. Not fair. Uh, definitely fair. Uh, don't let your guard down. Well, yeah, don't let your guard down for sure. Right. We'll stay vigilant until the very end. Yeah, no, no letting your guard down until that thing's down once and for all. Because, uh, this thing's definitely got some kind of trick up its sleeve. There's no way around that. Oh. Looks like it's making its entrance. Yep, it looks like it's making its way here, indeed. Here it comes! Okay. Let's prepare and see what it's got up its sleeves, honestly, and just prepare as much as we can. Well, there it is. It's making its entrance. <laughs> hey, Salmael. Long time no see, buddy. Yep, here we are. What are you, uh, what are you planning uh, on doing, buddy? Because we ain't backing down. I take it your journey here has given you ample time to reflect upon your sins. Um, nah, we didn't really, uh, you know, reflect upon any of it because there was no reason for us to reflect because we didn't do anything wrong. Uh, how about no? <laughs> our wills are firm. Return us to the real world. Well, our wills are pretty much firm, buddy. Give it up already, Salmael. Yeah, you might as well just give up, buddy. You can try all the petty tricks you like, but our hearts will never surrender. Or at least, uh... Well, I don't think you're gonna even have a chance to make us even think about surrendering. You're gonna have to literally, you know, Take us out if you want to make us surrender at this point. We've made our decision. We have no interest in your so-called protection. Plus, it's not even protection at the end of the day if you really think about it. Oh, what a woeful folly to think you'd reject the path to solace and prosperity of your own religion. Mm hmm. Man, after all the shit you put people through, you still got the nerve to talk about peace? Yeah, you're really not a, a peaceful god, buddy. You shouldn't be even thinking about yourself as peaceful. My pitiful children, do you not understand that I offer mankind salvation? And honestly, for it being, uh, it's very far from being a divine being as well. It's pretending to be a divine being. Even though its malevolence is, like, way further than anything a Demiurge or uh, Yaldabaoth was, or even Maruki. Maruki was, like, nowhere near as bad as any of the other two, to be fair. Um, or even Samael here. But, uh, yeah, Maruki was definitely, like, he was the only one that actually had, like, a somewhat, you know, you can obviously relate to him, and you just feel bad for him, because he was really, he thought he was helping. He actually did. But the Demiurge and Yaldabaoth, and then Sal Salmael are definitely, uh, there's no redemption for any of them, no matter what way you think of it. You might see it as salvation, but we call it sticking your big fat nose into other people's business. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. I'll choose my own path, thank you very much. Yeah, we really don't need your help picking paths, buddy. Mm hmm as you say. But I think you're the most foolish one here, buddy. I will acknowledge that you are considered the strong among mankind. Well, yeah, that is definitely, I would say, true. Because, uh, you know, the Persona users are only people that can actually, you know, deal with you. So, yeah, I guess that would be true. But you are the exceptions, not the norm. Most humans are frail. 
Hmm. Fair and not fair at the same time. That's really generalizing it. You propagate your ideologies among the weak, fanning the flames of conflict while hiding behind shields of righteousness. Well, you pretend to be a, a deity that you know you're not. So, uh, I don't know why you're trying to get on us, buddy. Look at the result. Conflicts which embroil a myriad of people, bleeding casualties until eventually all meet their demise. Mm -hmm. And all the while, these sacrifices are glorified in the name of distorted words, conviction, honor, ideas. Hmm. Okay. Interesting way of thinking of it, but you're completely twisted on every single thing you just said there, buddy. Not all of that's a bad thing for what, like, what we were doing. Most of it led to good, to be fair. So I don't know what you're talking about. A pathogenic bacterium spreading the contagion of war left alone. You will bring about the end of human. Plus, uh, how would you even know what he, if he were to break free, would even set a war in the first place? You have no confirmation on that, to be fair. The only thing is, is he would probably do more, uh, you know, dealing with, like, the bad in Japan than dealing with outside forces, from what we know about Toshiro. So I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe a civil war, if anything, but I would doubt that with uh, how the Phantom Thieves adventure went. This world was created to eradicate such a serious disease. Mm -hmm. Furthermore, my will is the consensus of humanity. I urge you to submit to their wishes. Nah, how about not? Did you all hear that? Apparently, we're a disease. I think you're more of the parasite here, buddy. Do you understand? It doesn't have a good point, though. It is true that reckless instigation of conflict can produce countless tragedies. Which is true. But if one does nothing but run away from pain and suffering, can we call it living? Which is very true as well. And then on top of that, just because you do nothing doesn't mean, or just because you're doing nothing doesn't lead to suffering as well, as we saw. We saw it with, with Lord Yoshiki's realm. It was... They were still suffering, and they weren't doing anything. So... Yeah. <laughs> it, it, Salmael is definitely twisted on it. Yes, there is... Some things he's saying is right, but the way he's thinking of it is completely wrong. And he doesn't understand any of it, what he's trying to say. Obviously. Even in the most adverse circumstances, there will always be those who desire change. Which is true. They are those who are willing to fight, even if it means to suffer. Very true. And perhaps their actions are motivated by their own ego, leading them to stray from the consensus of humanity. Uh, yeah, Shido. <laughs> Shido is one of those, for sure. I want to extend my hand to them all the same. I want to be the kind of person who will fight alongside them. Which is a good way of thinking of it. That is what I learned from the Phantom Thieves and Arena. This is my will. And you gotta take us on one, all, all, sing, every single one of us if you want to try and take down his will, because uh, Toshiro's not falling here, buddy. What you gotta say about that there, Salmeo? Salmi, what a name. Yeah, I may be an honor student, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna let you boss me around. Yeah, I'd like to see you try and boss her around anyways there, but I'm gonna be honest, I, I don't think you'd have a chance. If you're not gonna let us through, we'll just have to force our way in. Which, yeah, yeah, true. We would definitely have to force our way in, in order to push you back completely. It's not the first time we've gone against the so-called will of the masses. Yeah, that is 
<laughs> that is actually more than accurate. Uh, four times if we can if we add strikers. So yeah, there, it's not the first time. Call us infidels if you like, but be assured that no one will hinder our artistic vision. Yep, and uh, trust me, buddy, you're definitely not going to stop Yusuke when it comes to that. Yeah, that is actually pretty true. Besides, you're wrong about us being the strong ones. All we did was take one step at a time. We did it together. Which is true. You know, people aren't quite as strong or as weak as you make them out to be. Mm, depends on the people, to be fair. There is people that are weak and then there is people that are strong. It really just depends on who you're talking about. Not everybody's strong-willed. There is quite a lot of people that are uh, strong-willed, and there's quite a lot of people that are weak-willed. But it is very generalization the way he thought of it, to be fair. You don't have to rule over them like this. They'll find a way to keep moving forward all on their own. I know better than anyone, you can't be a shut-in just because you're scared of getting hurt. Yeah, she would definitely know better than anybody. Whether you're supposed to be a god, an instinct, or whatever, I'm not cool with you forcing your beliefs down my throat. Honestly, same. No matter how many times we came close to giving up, in the end, we've always stuck to our convictions. Yeah, that that's actually completely true. <laughs> they have, they have definitely, like, they've questioned themselves, but they have, they've always stuck to their convictions. <laughs> uh, very true. Very, very true. Well, we don't need your salvation. I like that one. Yeah, we don't need your salvation at all, buddy. How lamentable. Lamentable, you say. Oh, how I hear your screams. How I see your suffering. See my suffering? Well, it seems like a peaceful resolution is off the table. Yep, that definitely seems that way. Yeah, we're not backing down, bud. As the protector of his soul and as a warrior that fought alongside you all, I will defeat you and reform this world. Or die trying. <laughs> but we're definitely going to try our best to defeat you, buddy. Such dribble. Truly a cry of lunacy. What you've been saying has been dribble. I don't know what you're on about, bud. It pains me to use forcible means. But... This is for the salvation all of humanity yearns for. Mm -hmm, yeah, sure. Definitely, Mr. Mr. Guy, that definitely isn't who he says he is. For the prosperity of mankind, I will now eradicate you into non-existence. Okay. A little worrying on how you said that, but okay. Oh, here we go. Straight into battle. Final fight is now upon us. Okay, defeat Salmael. Seven enemies on field, as well as him. Okay. Big boss, by the way. Huge creature. Has no legs, by the way. Thought I should mention that. Interesting battlefield, by the way. It's like a gun cylinder. It's kind of cool, with a gear mixed together. That's actually really cool. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're definitely uh, going with the team that I said, though. So, Yusuke, Ryuji, we're more than ready for you guys. <laughs> and honestly, I think we just go from there. Win condition? Nothing. All allies are wiped out. Got it. In we go. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> Defeat Salmael. So, Yusuke and Ryuji start on that. Two there, Futaba. <laughs> What happens if I were to knock you off? Can't knock you off. Good to know. Okay. Let's see here. So we can jump over from here. Okay. Interesting. We could do Almighty Judgment. I'm gonna say we definitely don't need to do that. 
I'm gonna try and get a Mayagi on on the other side here. Okay, it looks like I might. Oh no, that is actually wait a minute. I might be able to go further. How far can I be? Maybe one more. Let's see here. I could change it to it so I can see it. Well, kind of. I can't, but I think I'm in the right spot. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Actually, I could still hit that one. So maybe I can go further to the right, like there. Let's see. I just want to make sure we do the best one. Yeah, it looks like right there is where we want it. I just want to make sure we can go as far as we possibly can and not get locked down to the back area if we can help it. Okay, so down he goes. Perfect. I say we definitely make our way straight on top of this thing. I don't think we need to worry about the enemies as much. They, they make our way towards us, that's perfectly when we need to worry about them. But for right now, we don't need to really fully worry about that. Just knock them down as we go, and go from there, pretty much. And then use their movement to get to where we need to be. Okay, so we already got two people over here. Okay. Uh, Toshiro is not going to have the luxury as much as everyone else here. If I were to jump from here... Oh, this one actually can't jump. So this one takes me here. Okay. I'm gonna say... Knock this one down. Which seems like a good idea. And then I can jump back over. Okay. Let's do it from a uh, Joker's perspective, though. Go over here make sure the furthest we can possibly do this from. Looks like I need to go back by one. Then sides of eternal darkness, knock them all down, leave them back there as far as we can. If we need to deal with them, we'll deal with them. But I think getting as close as we can to the safety mark of being on top of this guy is the best way. Okay. And then if we need to... Now we can start preparing for, like, an actual triangle here. So let's see here. So Ryuji, you go as far back as you can, buddy. And not a lot we can do here with this one. So maybe go forward by one. Get behind this guy. Then Joker, you can head back as far as you can. If we can get rid of a couple enemies, that would be good. Okay, not too bad. I feel like uh, getting rid of the more healthier one is a better option, though. So Yusuke, you're gonna go forward a little bit, buddy, like so. Yeah, that's way better. And then we can move Toshiro a lot closer to the safety zone. And then right in here seems like a better option. That's a pretty decent triangle. I like it. I'm just making sure that everyone's moving forward and not staying behind as far as they can go. Because those guys are going to make their way to us. They can't really attack us right away. So let's try and make advantage of what we can. And we can start doing some damage to you. So let's get Joker into the right position. And then we'll worry about it then. Um, here's pretty good. Let's try and do some damage here. What kind of uh, things do we need to worry about? 3,500? Not too bad. I'm gonna see if I can just drop a size of eternal darkness here. Okay, 256 is not bad. Just do as much damage as we can for this turn. We have the ability to kind of sit back and just do as much as we can for now. Don't need to worry about our, uh, our how much we're holding on to. And then definitely crystal point here too. Not too bad. We did a decent amount of damage so far. Pretty good. Okay, what is he doing now? Mercy from heaven. Okay. So it's like, uh, Airy Natsuhara. Oh no, only attack twice this time. Okay, cool. Those guys are moving forward. Yeah, I'm not really worried about them. One's in an open spot, I might be able to get a freebie. Just because of that. Okay, nothing happened. I think we can go back slightly. And actually, wait a minute. Hmm. 
Let's see. I have an idea here, actually. Uh, Mazeodyne. I can knock out both of them for free. Yeah, you know what? Do it. No reason not to, right? Yeah, let's just get rid of both. Could've just- actually, I could've just blasted them, to be fair. I just wasted some SP for that, but... It's probably worthwhile. Okay, cool. Then we can keep going back to doing some more damage to you. Plus, we should have a support ability that's giving us a longer version of our attack buff. Oh no, I have to specifically use it. Okay. I wasn't sure if uh, the auto versions counted here. Okay, not too bad. We got those guys next to us on the right. But we should be fine as long as we stay out of their positioning for now. But let's just keep doing some damage. So far, so good. We've already done almost... We've already done it over a thousand damage. Not bad at all. Um, probably could go that. How much damage does that really do? 134. Could just focus these guys behind us. Not a bad idea. I don't think we need to do it that way. We could just probably do it like this. And just knock them out completely. I'm gonna go for it. Might as well. They're close enough. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I just noticed that the cylinders are glowing. Were those always glowing, or...? I'm not really sure, actually. Let's see here, what would I rather do here? I think, yeah, I'll just Crystal Bloom. As much damage as we can get in a short amount of time. I don't know if he's gonna regenerate at all or not. Or have multiple forms, final judgment. What do you got, buddy? Ouch. Hit everybody with that one. Mercy from Heaven. That's twice. So we- oh, we only want once. Okay. So we can only hit- hit, uh, twice then, no matter what. Interesting to know. Still not focusing us right now. Let's just hit him again with everybody. He hasn't tried anything dangerous yet. But so far we're good. So just keep going severe damage as long as we can. While we prepare for whatever he tries next. And then definitely the size of uh, Turn of Darkness. We're gonna have to charge up here soon for a little bit for a Joker and everyone else. And then I think what we can do is uh, we can put you here. Not a bad idea. And then let's see here. Hmm. I'm gonna go Baywell for. Actually, no, I could go just Light of a Promise. Let's go. No reason not to, right? Heavy damage. Three turns and he's already gotten pretty low. Not really worried about him yet. Okay, here we go. But the end of your path lies only ruin. Allow me to carry out your purification. How about no? Cogs of Fate forward one. What are you doing? Okay. Oh, hey. oh, hey. definitely up to something. And please stay on your toes. Okay. Just trying something. I don't know exactly what that was. Forward one. Okay. Does it say anything about it? Anywhere? No? Okay. Not really sure what that did, but, um... Hmm. Okay. I guess we'll just prepare for whatever that could possibly be, then. Just do as much damage as we can while we're waiting for whatever he's doing. So maybe drop him out of his first phase, because it seems like he's definitely got to be a multi-phase fight with how fast we're bashing through his HP at the moment. But I'm definitely going to see if we can make, make use of what we can do right now. If, as long as we can. Since there's no reason not to wail on him while we can. There we go. Bad. It's pretty close. I'm not going to use any SP in the next one. Turn the wheel. Here we go. Okay. Okay, so we, we swap over to that side, I think, if we're in the rotation. Or it maybe even knocks us out. There's an opening one on the left side. I see that. Hmm. Not sure how I'm going to get to him. Because I could take advantage of that. The will of cold world through to you. Um, if the platform you're on goes too far around, things won't end up well for you. Keep moving so that doesn't happen. Okay. 
So forward goes right. If it goes backwards, it goes the other way. Got it. Okay. Ooh, did we get SP back? We did. Thank you. I'll take that. Okay, back we go. To back where we were. Don't, um, not close enough, I think. Which is fine if it is. No, we're close. Okay, good. <laughs> Let's whack him then. Might as well. Here you go, buddy. Okay, 227. Okay. Now I think we can go regular attacks, if needed. Just to charge up while we can. And also, kind of get back into position as well, while we can. Okay, not too bad. Let's see. Looks like Baywell should be enough, so let's definitely go with that. Okay. First phase may be done, because I don't think it's over yet. Okay. Salmael. Seemingly. I doubt it, though. Jeez, Mona, don't jinx yourself. Yeah, yeah I, I would doubt that was the was end ending because it took a while to set up that that rotation thing, and I don't think they would show that like at the end of his fight because <laughs> that seems very important. Uh huh. No. Serenity. In all the world, let there be serenity. Serenity. Hey, uh, doesn't something seem kind of off? Yeah, it definitely does. It's, uh, open face smiling at us uh, at the moment. So it's definitely got something. Looks like it's not over quite yet. Well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> Stay on your toes, everyone. Yeah, definitely. What's it got planned, though? Just be safe, no matter what, and prepare for whatever it has next. of all humanity. Your extermination is my duty. In the name of eternal peace, be gone! Be gone with your despicable flames of conflict! Okay, that thing is terrifying. Yeah, that... <laughs> that that fits it that fits the bill a lot better. Also, one thing to take note of, its arm has wiring in it. Something I sh uh, I definitely just noticed. Huh. So it's like a mix between like Yaldabaoth and the Demiurge almost. Since it's like a deity like or a false deity like Yaldabaoth, but also kind of mechanical at the same time like the AI that was the Demiurge. Very interesting. And then obviously it's got like the, the false idealism of Maruki while well, like thinking it's doing the right thing, but it's obviously not. That face though, that's terrifying. It looks like a mummy almost. Like a mummy mixed with a like a more uh like well, obviously more of like a uh Christianity like angel. Or or Catholic, either one. Just anything with uh when it comes to like more like modern uh, ideology of what an angel looks like, but uh, not like the um, the biblically accurate ones where it's like it's wings and eyes, but more of like like an act what is more like uh, the idealized form of one, which is interesting. Also mixed with a little bit of a uh, statuesque ideas as well, which is kind of interesting, like Greek statues and stuff like that. I think it's pretty cool. Be careful, everyone. It brings you just leveled up. Yeah, you did. Huh, so those are your true colors, eh? Guess you're just another Midas right moron, aren't ya? 
the mouth belied as a sinister face, and wings of uh, firearms all preaching of peace and tranquility is the height of folly. Also, he's had, you know, bullet casings along his vest there, too. So, obviously, he was... He was obvious he wasn't really telling the truth. All right. We won't deny change or the will of people. I mean, if you intend to rob us of those things, then you can bet we'll put a, up a fight. Um, Toshiro, if you t don't take a stand for us all, then I'll be the bullet of a change that kites you. Let's go! Oh, right. We all know the stakes. Let's do this. Okay. Turn six. And now we got right. real Samael here. Doesn't say 6,600 HP. It's got double the HP of what it had before. Ravengers, though. Eesh. Don't like that. Definitely don't like them on the board. Um, let's see here. Ooh. Wait a minute. Freebie on the board. I see a freebie. Okay. We need to go for the supporter on the left side. He's in the open. Anybody else in the open? One very far back. So somebody with a lot of SP that has Maegi on sets. Even Joker would be good. Yeah, Joker can go right. I see it. Okay. That's what we need to do then. Okay, Toshiro. I think you're going to be the safety option here. Also, wow, you're huge. That's terrifying. Like, you can see it from here. Also, the, like, soot or blood, stained blood all over the wings, it's terrifying as well, by the way. Okay. Definitely go for the Baywell on you. First and foremost. To get the, the action for it. Okay. Now, we put Ryuji back slightly, somewhere where we can kind of see. Uh, Joker, you're going to be the one to go back, I think. Because I think you can reach that guy in the very back. Yeah, you can. So you could pull these two. You use a lot of SP to do this. Yes, and foremost. But it's something we could take advantage of. Okay, not bad. Okay, cool. Then we can jump on over as far back as we possibly can. Okay, Toshiro doesn't need to go back there. It's Yusuke that needs to. I just need to get rid of a good chunk of the enemies that we can. Um, could go here. Don't see a way of really getting a bunch of them right this minute. But what I can do, however, is at least confirm a couple more knockouts. Possibly. Looks like it, at least. Right. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, yeah, I like that. And Toshiro, you're gonna kind of, uh... Go, like, here-ish? Or do we need to? Um... You can go here. I don't think that's too bad. And then we can obviously just slash through all of those guys. Right now, it's just figuring out how to get a good chunk of these enemies away from us right, while we safely prepare for what we need to do. Okay, Ryuji can go back now. Might be able to, uh... Let's get in there. Okay, I can slice him. Ooh. Okay. What to do here. Might be a good idea. I have a better idea, though, for what I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do Phantom Judge on that guy. That's my idea. Let's, go. Let's see here. Can I hit both? No, I can only hit him. But knocking him on the floor and then hitting uh, severe damage might be a good way of dealing with him. Honestly. So I think this might be our way of doing it. So size of darkness. Drop as much damage as we can. It is still doing damage to him. That's good. It just didn't look like it for a second. But there we go. 184. Don't have any... Uh, real points left, so we need to be careful. Yusuke, you can make your way back, buddy. And then I think you can kind of go, like, here-ish. Yeah, thankfully, we can get rid of the Ravenger or Re Revenger, as they're actually called. Thankfully. Not too bad. It works out perfectly, especially with how you had to angle this turn. 
So, we got to save a little bit of uh, movement. Okay, cool. Not bad. Safety. For a couple turns. But here comes the final judgment. A little bit of AoE. Perfectly okay, though. Going double on the final judgment. Yikes. Don't like that. Hmm. Does a lot of damage, too. Not good to get hit by that multiple times. Okay, Ravengers aren't making their way over. That's good. I don't think they can jump over. Okay. Don't want to do that. Okay, um, right now. Don't I have a heal? Or no, I don't. I have Moderate Kaja, though. I just wanted I had a heal on one of these. Didn't I? I sworn one of these has a... Yeah, it does. Okay, I was about to say. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. That would have been bad if I didn't. Okay. First and foremost, though. Could knock you down onto the floor. Not a bad idea. Honestly. Don't mind that, honestly. You know what? Do it. I could probably make use of that. As long as we do it properly. Because if I go back here, we can use Joker to charge up for a turn. Just to give him a little bit of a turn to kind of prepare. And then just do a little bit of damage for now. While also maybe healing up uh, Yusuke as well. Because I think we're definitely going to want to heal this turn. Just a little bit. Just to feel a little bit more healthy. And then get this guy out of here. Which is not a bad idea, using our turn like this. Plus, this is the only guy that's really swinging on us right now. Plus, we get a little bit of a heal from that, on top of that as well. Okay, well, that's happening. Light of a promise for me. Okay, not bad. Decent amount of damage into him this turn. How many, uh, how much have we really done so far? Not bad, almost a thousand. We'll definitely just go for regular shock on you this turn, though. Okay, not bad. Okay, what you doing? So foolish. Ridiculous as will. Ludicrous as spirit. Unneeded. Unneeded. You're wretched miscreants. You have no place in my world. Now receive divine judgment and be annihilated. Holy numbers of salvation. What? Um... Look at those hovering numbers. Purge! I will purge you! Divine punishment to all those who defy the decree of stagnancy. Oh, oh I'm picking up a massive energy reading. You don't want to get hit by his next attack. Oh, I'll now analyze it as quick as I can. Everybody just hold out for now. I'm guessing don't stand inside of that is what it wants us to do. Basically. Okay. Makes sense, makes sense. I say just hit him as much as we can while he's charging up whatever that is. Probably the best idea. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna get any closer to you, buddy, when it comes to that angle. So, uh, Joker, uh, you get as close as you can, bud. Just do as much as you can while we can. And prepare for whatever that is over on the right side. And then, um, we'll go another one for a light of a promise. And then Toshiro, I'm gonna let him kind of charge up a little bit to get a little bit more of his uh, points back. But as long as we keep hitting him, we'll be fine. And as long as we stay out of whatever that is, we'll be, we should be fine as well. Oh. Okay. Um, is everyone okay? Um, we'll be alright for now. I figured how the cap works. Um, if you can get enough people on the platform at some time, it'll keep out the blast. Just keep a level head and pay attention to the numbers. Oh, okay. So we need to walk onto there. That's fine. Shock really doesn't affect us this turn, really. If we're gonna be completely honest, shock does not really matter on this one. I'm gonna say we charge. So, Ryuji, you just swing, buddy. Okay, not bad. Uh, Joker, what I'm gonna have you actually do this turn? Is you're gonna do a moderate Kaja. Get everybody's damage up. I should have did that first. 
first and foremost. But it should be yep, five turns. Good. That's huge. Okay. Well, that's happening then. Crystal Bloom for you. Get as much damage as we can while we have this Madara Kaja going. So our regular, like, shots aren't going to be weak this turn. For the next couple turns. And we still have a Light of Promise we can do too. So we definitely go for it. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, what are you going to do, Salmael? Mercy for heaven. Okay. Cogs of Fate reverse three. Okay. One, two, three. So where we're standing is bad right now. So, based on where we're at, so let's see here. So this is going to go back, this is going to go back, and then this is going to go back. So, if that's the case, one, two, three, we want to be on the fur furthest one. We want to be as far as we possibly can be without any impeded uh, progress, basically. But for anyone that can't get as far back, we just try and do as much as we can. That's fine. And we need to charge up anyways this turn. Not bad. 152 for just a regular gunshot? That's pretty good, honestly. I'm say that. <laughs> I definitely think that. Then definitely blast you. Okay, just keep moving. As much as we possibly can get. Uh, Joker should probably get to figure out what he's doing first before we worry about that. Okay, not bad. Definitely just a regular blast. And just keep moving as much as we can. And we're too far for Baywell. Is there a way for me to still hit Baywell? Yes, there is. Good. Hit it from here, then. Okay, not bad. So here comes our rotation. Turn the wheel. One, two, three. Yep, I was right. So if we were on the next one, we would be in front of us. Holy numbers of salvation again. Where does it want us to be? Oh, perfect. That's where we want to go. Now it's my turn. <laughs> That works out perfectly. Um, any way for me to actually get We're there, not. though? Not really. Need two people there, too. What to do here? Okay. Seems somewhat easy, depending on how you do this. Um, let's see here. Is there a way for me to hit anything from here? Not really. Hmm. Let's see here. Could do like a phantom. Does this count as putting two people here? Not really sure. Guess we'll find out. <laughs> I should be able to drop it on top of this. No, I can't actually. Or maybe I can. It's just the position. Here. Does this count? If it does, that's perfect. Because then we don't have to worry about getting shocked or anything else. No. But it does give me my extra movement. So, let's take advantage of that. Okay, so you're here now. Perfect. We do a Crystal Bloom on everybody in here as well. Which is huge. Though we're out of um, stamina again. But, at least it's something. Then I can hit you for a movement. Since I don't want to waste my points. We also got Despair out of that, so that's extra movement as well. Which is huge. We can get into a safe zone. Uh, let's see here. You can't really get there. But you can. So, Ryuji, let's get you back, buddy. It says two, so we should be fine with the amount of people already here. Seemingly. And then, supporter. Don't know if that's really something we need to worry about yet. But, um... How close can I be to being able to actually hit you? Looks like not any at all. Okay. So you stay back uh, there, buddy. And I guess we'll just try and do some damage while we can. So blast into him. Not too bad. And then charge up this one. Okay. Not too bad. And then obviously you stay back here, Toshiro. Okay, what are you going to do? Cogs forward by two. Okay. Toshiro's in a pretty good spot. There goes one of my shadows. They're just gonna blast around on those. Looks like Legionnaires can jump. 
Ooh, freebie on the movement, actually. Something I'm seeing. Okay. Interesting. Let's see here. Who's good on uh, points right now? Joker can easily get back to a safe spot. So, Joker, you're gonna go like around here-ish. I don't mind that. But uh, for Ryuji, Ryuji has a harder time moving. So what I want to do is something along the lines of doing like a Meigeon on these ones. And maybe, just maybe, taking full advantage of this. Okay. Not too bad. Then we can move back. And then we can blast you. Not too bad. Okay, cool. We can use that for the extra movement. I know it's kind of like, it's minimal movement, but at the same time it's like, it's helpful movement at the same time. Because it's dealing with those enemies when they do decide to uh, make their way back. Okay, I can't fully get into that position, but that's fine. Do a little bit of uh, blasting onto him, Let's charge up as much as we can. Toshiro, better off for you to just get back to this zone and then wait, pretty much. It's pretty much the best wait thing we can do right now. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Toshiro, you just sit, bud. Charge up as much as you can. But here we go, turn the wheel. One, two, not bad. We're still in a good position. Toshiro's right where he wants to be now. Eradicate, eradicate! You cannot escape my judgment! You say that, but you don't know that. Oh, Spire of Judgment. Uh, caught the crosshairs? Oh! I mean, like, listen up. It seems like somebody else attacked you being controlled by the tower. Um, those things will follow you wherever you make cover, to try to take cover. Look, um, talk about the god of eternity not taking a hit. What if- But I do have good news. If you destroy your tower, I bet you can take control and guide him straight back at, um, at Zalmayo. Ooh, okay. Um, the problem is how to destroy it, judging from the readings. It's pretty sturdy. That's it. Uh, I guess it, when it's time to finish something off, there's only one option. All right. uh, everyone, give the puppet's gotta be taste of its own mission. With an all out attack. Okay. All out attack is what's gonna deal with that. Everyone's being targeted right now. <laughs> a little scary. But maybe that's fine. We're in a weird spot, though, for an all out attack, though. Um. Looking, looking, looking. What can I possibly do for an all-out attack here? I can move forward. That's definitely an option. <laughs> um. Hmm. Okay. Can I? I can't really eye gone that one, really. But I can make sure everybody moves forward as best I can. Okay. Yusuke can kind of get a hit on one of these guys, I think. Depending on where we stand. I think where Joker is, is a spot. Let's try that instead. So, you go here. Yeah, we can freeze him. Not a bad idea. Okay. If I do that, though, I don't like the positioning. Oh, can I? I can't hit this guy. Hmm. The idea is, is to try and get an all-out attack, right? So all I really... Oh, but I still need to get back there, though. That's the problem. Hmm. Okay. Well, if that is the case, then... Let's see here. Can't directly attack that thing, I think. Let me check. I want to double-check that. Yeah, you can't. You can't do it at all. Okay. So... I'm gonna say... We blast you... To force some movement for somebody. Okay. Seems usable. Let's try it. We're still in cover. 
Oh, it doesn't count as that, though. Ah, that's not good. Okay, I can still hit him. I'm perfectly ready. What to do here? Okay. Uh, I can hit him, but I can't really do anything with that. Okay. Well, at least Ryuji can move, right? So I guess that's what we need to worry about more. So hit him. Freeze him. Use the movement for Ryuji. Do it from this angle, though. That gets to get him. Okay. That works. Gonna be in a really weird spot, though, by the end of this. Um, how do I jump over, though? I don't really see a way to get over there. Um... Is it going to tell me how to get there, or... Not really. I don't like that. I can't see it. Um, hmm. Well, because of that, it might be better to just try and go for a Myagon, if if possible. You could also do that as well, but I don't think that's necessary. Actually, there's a double get him here, if need be. Okay. Is there a way for me to just attack one instead? No, not really. Just knock them both down then. Yep, it's in a weird spot. Okay. Okay, that puts me here though. And I can't really encircle them from this angle. That's really nice. Uh huh. Okay. Um. There's not really a way for me to encircle this. You know that game, right? Okay. Um. Okay. I'll see what I can do. I like I can get here, but Ryuji can't really get behind these guys from this angle. It should be the right one. I don't know why it's this one, because this would help me. The other one doesn't at all. Like there's no way to get behind them from this angle, unless I were to like you know buy a Gion here and then you know run, but I can't really do that. Okay. Not really sure what I was supposed to do here, and it's kind of, uh, in a way that I really keep right, doing things. Do um, it really should let you go in between them. I can't... Yeah, I don't like that. That's not good. At all for me. Okay. I have really no idea what I'm supposed to do in this instance, just because there's no real way to encircle them like this. All right. Like, I tried to go in the right spot. Huh. Okay, I guess we're just gonna get hit, honestly. I guess that's pretty much the best thing to do yeah, here, and just see what we can do and go from there, kind of thing. I'm gonna go forward, though. We'll just get hit and see what happens, I guess. Huh. Okay. Don't like their positioning at all, though. I'm gonna definitely say that. And then, uh... Yeah, I guess just that, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I have no answer on what to do there. They really kind of messed me up with where they're standing. Like, if he was moved like there, I might have been able to do something. But, yeah. Okay, I had, I, okay, I had another turn. Thank you. I was about to say. Like, there was no angle for me in that position. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, I can work with this. I can definitely work with this. Okay. That's better. That's much better. I was really worried about that. Okay. Um... I guess just try and get as much of an angle as we can, I guess. How's this? Does this do enough? Or am I still out of range? Looks like I'm out of range by a slight a bit. Uh, move back slightly, I guess, and then do it. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Drop that, uh, Spire. I thought we were done for. Honestly, I really did. I thought that was it, as soon as that thing came up. Okay. That's down. We're no longer being hit by that. Got my HP back, too. Uh, Yusuke, because you're in a good spot, we're just gonna keep, uh, going with you, buddy. Uh, let's see if we can maybe get back to safety. Or what we know is safety for right now. And how are we doing on attack? Do we still have a couple turns? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, it looks like our attack buff is gone. 
But for right now, we're just gonna go regular damage here. Just to confirm that we're still doing something to him. Okay, not bad. Um, we're still good on HP, so we don't need to worry. We have a lot of uh, SP on you, so just keep attacking. Not bad. And then for Yusuke... Uh... Probably just a swing for now. We're gonna hold on like uh, to like Phantom if we need the extra movement. Okay, Spire of Judgment. It's coming for Ryuji, but that's fine. Okay, it's not doing anything right now. So let's just make our way slowly back to position, while also being prepared for whatever this thing might try next. We have a freebie right now, so we're definitely going to go in Crystal Bloom here. Co probably could have went for uh, the Moderate Kaja this turn, but I'm going to wait till next turn to do it. Just because I know we won't have enough for the sides next turn. So let's definitely just keep the damage rolling while we can. So far so good. We got a good chunk of his... Uh, HP taken out. And we're gonna hold on to it for one more turn. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, so far so good. Divine punishments. What are you doing? Ooh, he hit himself with that. Okay, good. Very good. Oh, oh yeah, great fun of money. Perfect teamwork, everybody. Oh, keep it up. You can destroy the tower. Think you can leave the guidance to me. 500 damage, though. That's good. So destroying the tower does a 500 to him. So keep that in mind. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. You can make your way back, buddy. Uh, we definitely don't have enough, do we? Oh, no, we have enough. I'm gonna say we definitely just go for the moderate Kaja, though. Um, I'm gonna try and go in the middle. Middle seems to be the safest spot for, um where you want to be during this. So let's definitely just do the moderate Kaja for now. Get everyone's attack up. And then, looks like Yusuke... You can go like Kirish, buddy. I feel safe with you there. And then Crystal Balloon onto you to start it. Got a lot of damage going in right now with the moderate Kaja for the next couple turns. So we definitely take what we can get. He's on 900 now, last 1,000 HP. I think it was 971, 312, wow. Pretty good damage going in. Hit him with a Light of Promise as well. <laughs> Jeez, we're definitely wailing on him right now. Okay, what you got, buddy? Holy Numbers of Salvation again. Might be able to get away with uh, a round of not dealing- Oh, you put it right where we want to be. Oh, it's just by one. Oh, that's fine. I'll stay where I'm at. I'm perfectly okay with that. Oh, you put yourself in an open spot. Thanks. This is a free whale on me, buddy. Oh, no, it's not. I thought he opened himself up for a freebie. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna stay where we're at. I think we're perfectly fine just staying here, buddy. <laughs> Thanks for uh, putting it right where we're at. That's always nice of you. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna say we can go for a crystal bloom here. Should be enough to knock him out. Let's try it. Don't know if this is the end of him or not, but at least Phase 2 is definitely out of the picture from here. That's for sure. No way around that one. Eternal tranquility is the secret desire of all mankind! Purge. I will purge you! Look at them all! Not a problem. Let's go! It's now or never. You're getting on my nerves! Get the hell out of here! If you're hurting me! Everyone! We need to aim for the body!
Arena. Arena. Can you hear me? Toshiro. It's because I'm so useless. I've caused you so much pain. I'm sorry, but even someone like me has their principles. I want to protect everyone that has taught me to fight. I want to protect their spirit. I want to support those who need it, and be willing to fight their battles with them. So please, lend me your strength! Stand with us one more time! Arena! won't let the fire in our hearts be extinguished destroy 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 we won't let you <laughs> This is goodbye. We choose to fight, and stand up for a better tomorrow. Just like that, down goes the false god that was known as Salmael. Still thinking that he was trying to bring peace to humanity. Yeah, right. Nice try there, buddy. Destroy, destroy. Oh, I don't know what I just did. Okay, we didn't go too far. Whew. I was a little worried there. Okay, but here we go. Let's uh go with what, what they've been saying, because they're actually talking for this one. <sighs> Did we get it? Seemingly. The target's not showing up on my radar, which means... It should be down. It means... We win! Or at least I think so. Seems like we won. <laughs> it's all good. Take as much time as you need there, on. <laughs> After a battle like that, yeah, we had to, we had to definitely make a lot of uh, movements just to be able to stay safe during that one. There was a good amount of time where we could stay stationary, though, too, at the same time. But it was all about positioning and being safe with the cog rotations and stuff like that. If it did it more often, I definitely think that boss would be much more scarier, for sure. <laughs> Cheers indeed. Let's get home. Hot coffee and hurry on the house and some blood. That definitely does sound pretty good. Jeez, man. You're already trying to booch? Eh, uh, he's earned it. Hmm. But what now, though? He did say that, but I doubt it. We could be looking at the possibility of another being like it emerging again. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it definitely isn't out of the question. <laughs> that's for sure. If that's what people wish for, it could end up happening one day. Yeah, definitely. I see. And I'll just need to prove it, won't I? True. 
You'll just have to uh, do what you need to do uh, as best as you can and try and, well, prepare for whenever it does come back or stop it before it could ever can, honestly, by doing what, you know, you can do. That people can keep moving forward of their own will. Even if it gets getting hard. Which, yeah, sounds like a good idea. Well, um, you come a long way. I'm counting on you. Very true. I'll be cheering for you. Always. <laughs> well, good to hear. Oh, something's happening. Hey! Shit, this place is coming apart! <laughs> that means we've definitely, uh, well, destroyed the ruler of the, of the heart. <laughs> so Salmael is definitely down for sure then. Could it be because the creator of this world is gone? Yeah, but uh, how do we get out of here? <laughs> Evasive maneuvers, go, go! Everyone run, quickly! Also, if someone could lend me a shoulder, I can't move. Is it because you're hurt or uh, just with fear? Yes, yes. Let's run on our own legs now. <laughs> we should be able to escape if we get back to the train. Final stretch. Hang in there, everyone! Yep, final stretch indeed. Guys, run like your life depends on it. We're getting back to Miss Lavenza. As fast as we possibly can, at least. But yeah, run for your lives, guys. Otosho is really running slow. That's not good. Hopefully he's okay. He's really tired. Welcome back, everyone. Um thanks for the welcome, but we kinda need to get out of here. Um, are we even able to move the train anymore? The wheels kind of fell off of this thing. Understood. In that case, this train will be departing momentarily. Okay, good. <laughs> That's very good to hear. Please be sure to keep your hands, feet, and tails inside of the windows at... I don't think we have enough time for this, Lavenza. I know you like it, uh, you like being a train conductor. Or... in... In other words, this is more like an airport, uh, airplane conductor, uh, you know. But yeah, I don't think we have enough time for this. Let's skip that part for now, okay? Just get us out of here, please. Yeah, please, Lavenza. What a shame! I wanted to do that at least once. You can do it while we're while we're moving. How about that? Holding, uh, as tight as we possibly can. <laughs> We're going really fast, that's for sure. <laughs> Jeez, what a crazy adventure so far, though. And it's almost over, too. Okay, looks like we're back in Kingdom 1, it looks like. The, uh, Marie chapter. But, uh, I think I understand why we're here. Just because, uh, well, this is, uh, Arena's home after all. It makes a lot of sense to take her back where she belongs. Because I don't think she can go outside. And if she did, I think she'd just go back in here. But I thought she wanted to at least see the world. And then you know, have the chance to at least see it before, you know, going back. But, here we go. Let's see what's going on here. Huh? We're back here? Yep, back here indeed. The creator of this world, Salmael, has been defeated. Which is true. Eventually, 
This place should go back to its proper state. That's good to hear. Once that happens, you should all be able to return to your reality as well. Oh, so what you're saying is, uh, while we wait for our reality to, you know, us to be sent back to our own reality, we can wait here where it's safe. Okay, makes sense. Until then, please spend your time wisely so as not to leave any regrets. Makes sense, makes sense. I've done all the quests, so uh, there's nothing I can do, but thank you. Regrets? Oh, I see. Well, then, we should probably get our goodbyes out of the way, shouldn't we? Yeah, we probably should. It's definitely about time for that. Guys, hold up. You're not coming with us, Serena? She... I don't think she can. You don't mean you're going to disappear, too? Yeah, she more than likely has to. But technically, she's still here. She's inside Toshiro. That's just the way we gotta think of it. No, I'm not disappearing. I'm just going back to where I came from. Which is true. I was only born to protect Toshiro's heart from Samael's rule, remember? Yeah, that is... yeah. Now that his influence is gone, it's time for me to go back into Toshiro's heart. Yeah, that, that would make a lot of sense, too. But he's still, you know, she's still gonna be there. So it's not like she's gone forever. So, you can't cry. Alright, Toshiro? Yeah, don't cry, buddy. She'll be with you. A needless concern, I should say. You were once a part of me. So you'll just be going back to where you belong. Yep, exactly. What kind of person? Cries over saying goodbye to himself. Oh, poor dude. <laughs> you really aren't honest with yourself, are you? Hey, the fight only just ended. It's too early to be saying goodbye. Well, we're not going to be here for very long, so you might as well get as get as much of a goodbye as you can while you still can. On to, from what Han was saying. Yeah. This should be the beginning, not the end. We should be having a celebration, like, uh, what everyone was wanting to do. Thank you, Futaba. On. Brief as it was, I'll never forget the time we spent together. Not ever. Well, we won't either. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with Tactic. I had, a, I had a lot of fun with all the Persona 5 games, to be fair. But... I definitely feel like Tactica was uh, much higher on my list for like when it comes to uh, strikers out of the two. I really like all three, but I really like Tactica as uh, if it was like first to third. I definitely feel like Royal, then Tactica, then Strikers would be my like tier for all three of them. to bear witness to your noble way of life. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. I'll always be connected through Toshiro, okay? Bye, Irina. <laughs> Bye, Irina, indeed. Yusuke, Makoto. I was saved by your wisdom on many an occasion. I won't say goodbye either. We'll meet again, okay? Yeah, there's still a possibility we'll still meet Irina in another team. If they do continue the Phantom Thief story, I don't see why not. Ryuji's like, he's just like, he doesn't know what to think at this point with how his face looks. In these moments, it definitely looks coolest if you can make it short and sweet. Huh. But it looks like that ain't for me. Yeah, it definitely doesn't look that way. <laughs> I feel the same way. Haru, Ryuji, I learned a great deal from your candor. <laughs> if Toshiro ever loses his nerve again... I'd like you two to snap him back to his senses. <laughs> Those two will definitely know how to do so. Oh. Are you going already? Looks like it. That was the fade that we saw back in the Shadow Toshiro fight right before it. Or, well, when Ichiro sent her back to where... or into the student council room area when everything started preparing for Shadow Toshiro. 
we saw that fade begin. So this is definitely pretty much the beginning of the end for her, or at least in this story. It's time. Well, it was nice to know in the arena. It was very fun. I see. And here I was planning to take you in as my apprentice. <laughs> it's a shame, you know. <laughs> you said that all the way back in Kingdom 1, bud. <laughs> I guess I missed out big time, didn't I? Kind of. Will you teach me if we meet again? What it takes to be a phantom thief, that is. Of course. Of course, of course. You can count on it. I'll always be waiting for you. It'll be lonely without you. Um. Hmm. Well. It'll be lonely without you. Yeah. But we'll miss you. But I'll always be with you through Toshiro. I can't wait to see what feats you have in store. <laughs> Same towards you. Morgana. Joker. I'm truly glad I met you both. In this very spot, in fact. I'm surprised with the answer we gave with Joker. We can't at least see like a little bit of a tear forming. Because I know J Joker's really serious in a lot of pictures, but he still has emotions. <laughs> you can see it in the shows for like the animes that they have for him, and then when he does talk, it, he has a lot of emotion in it in the games. Marina. Sorry, yep. guys. I think my time's up. She's fading for sure. <laughs> Say goodbye, Toshiro, as long as you can. And what a sad ending for Arena, but it makes sense, though, honestly. Just makes nothing but sense. Thank you, everyone. In there! Well, in that case... It's time for action! The revolution is here! But I just can't fight anymore. It's time for revolution, Yoshiki! That's right. I'm, uh... Stand up, Toshiro! Stand up! Marina! I won't doubt myself anymore. No matter how many times I get knocked down. No matter how many times I falter. I'll follow the path I believe in. Will you? Watch over me. <laughs> okay, back to the real world. Um, don't know if we still have our memories or not, just because of how some of this stuff works. I think we do. But the way that we're, like, coming back to ourselves, I'm not really sure at this point. Huh. Guess we'll find out. <gasps> Nothing from Morgana. Is this... LeBlanc? Okay, we still have our memories good. You're back to the real world. <laughs> Good. Everything looks normal outside too. <laughs> yep, I think we're back. By the way, with the fact that we do have our memories, that means that Toshiro definitely remembers us, which is a good thing. So if uh, they do want to continue Toshiro's story in any way, shape, or form with Phantom Thieves, well, they easily can. So that's good to know. That's very cool. I like that. <laughs> yeah, we did. Uh, 
the phone. Where's Toshiro? Well, back wherever he was beforehand. He came to that world in a different way than we did. Yep, that's for sure. So it stands to reason he just landed in a different location. Wonder where he is exactly. But, but how can we confirm that? Like, can we call the diet? Uh, that's a good question. Yeah, I think we'd sound really sus if we did that. Yeah, we would. Well, uh, there could be a news report. True. That's how we found out about it, him being missing in the first place. Remember how much of a fuss the press made when he went missing? It seems likely we'll hear if he's back. True. Please be safe, Toshiro. I think he should be fine. We'll, we'll hear from him soon. Very, very soon, in fact, I would, I would think. Back where we started, but this time we can actually see Yoshiki without it being slightly uh, dark, dark like a dark silhouetted version of him. So we saw Marie and Yoshiki in the very beginning. So we're finally seeing them without the, the you know theatrics and stuff. Toshiro, where on earth have you been? Uh, I don't think you'd believe it. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sure. I bet you were just running away from the pressure, as usual. Uh-huh, yeah, sure. Won't you just do as you're told? Or is that still expecting too much of you? Uh, uh. Yep, she definitely acts like how she acted inside of the kingdom. <laughs> That's for sure. And apparently her name's Anto for the last name. Interesting. Now, now, Marie-san. Incompetent, though, you may. Mm -hmm. Whatever the circumstances, he did come back. I'll have him make a formal apology later. All will be well. Uh, you're gonna be going to prison, buddy. Father, I'm... You fool! Mm -hmm. Disappearing at a time like this. Do you realize how much this will affect your credibility? Uh, uh yeah, sure, buddy. That's all you care about. We'll be holding an explanatory press conference immediately. I have the script for you here. Uh, oh yeah, sure, he's definitely gonna read that. You say you were covertly admitted to the hospital. The condition was critical, but you made a miraculous recovery. That's not gonna be happening, buddy. <laughs> he's gonna be sending you to jail, that's pretty much it. Now, health issues will lose you approval points, so be sure to make a point of impressing that you're back to full health. Uh -uh. Come on, Toshiro, no backing down, buddy. Come. No need to look so serious. Everyone still has high hopes for you. Uh huh. I've already laid out all the groundwork, so as long as you follow my instructions, there won't be any problems. That's how it's been, <laughs> and that's how it'll stay. That's not how it's gonna stay, buddy. I don't think Toshiro's uh gonna be letting you get away with anything else. Yes. Hmm. Now then, Mario-san, shall we be going? We have our own preparations to make for the press conference. Oh, he might have a plan, actually. There's no reason to let them let them know that he is going to turn them in, obviously. So, don't say it now, that would be really stupid. Especially with how he kind of plans things. Okay, yeah. I think he's just trying to get on their good side for right now. I would like you to play the part of the devoted fiancé. Supported Toshiro through his many obligations. Hmm. Ugh, I realize I have to do this if I want to become first lady. It's such a hassle. Uh -huh, yeah, so much of a hassle. Do you think I should change? Perhaps I could wear something that panders a bit more to all those commoners. Rude. What's your plan, Toshiro? You definitely have one. Oh, he ripped it apart. This is where the next chapter begins. Yeah, he's definitely turning them in. No, no turning back. It looks like good, very good, Toshiro. Right, Irina. 
right, Arena, indeed. Okay. What next? Oh, boy, is it toasty out today. Um, well, I would definitely think so. With weather this nice, it feels like spring's already in full swing, doesn't it? After being stuck in time for a long time, it's probably good to feel weather again. Since everyone's here again today, maybe we should ask for some coffee? This is very disappointing. I had such high hopes for Mr. Kasukabe. Ooh, what do you mean? Kasukabe's confession? What is the truth? Indeed. As extreme turmoil continues to cast a pall over the political world, its future falls increasingly in question. Interesting. Meanwhile, investigations of Mr. Kasukabe's father, Mr. Yoshiki, and his ex fiance will continue as. Okay, he definitely turned him in. Politics seem to be the talk of the town as usual, huh? Yep, that's for sure. It's not surprising. Another major scandal on the coattails of the one last year. <laughs> Seems to follow us everywhere we go. Gotta give Toshiro credit, though. Right to the chase of that press conference. <laughs> he basically did a change of heart, but on himself, pretty much. Turned them both in, and then, I guess, confessed to... Even though he didn't really do anything bad. He kind of just, you know, he was... I guess you could say an accomplice, because he didn't do anything. But, honestly, he still might still be good. I don't think he's going to be facing anything. I think definitely those two will, though supposed to be an explanation for his disappearance instead turned into a confessional. <laughs> I am not qualified to be Prime Minister. I indict my father for his crimes. Good idea. Yeah, we're talking criminal indictments against an elder statesman by his own flesh and blood. <laughs> it is pretty crazy if you think about it that way. And then he announces he's breaking off his engagement too. Talk about a lot to process, Toshiro. Well, he didn't really like Marie, to be fair. Ultimately, his resignation means any hope of him becoming Prime Minister went down with him. Oh yeah, true, so he won't be Prime Minister anymore. Everyone was totally shocked. A press conference like that brings back memories of last year, doesn't it? Definitely does. The one for Shido. Going, I don't see the dust settling for a while. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Toshiro kept his promise. That means his resolve was real. Which is true. Um, he did what he said he would. I'm a little worried about him. I am a little worried about him. Yeah. Especially with all the public attention he's drawn right now. That was quite the spectacle. Yeah, that is kind of crazy. But hopefully he'll be okay. He's definitely got guts. His actual gut, though. <laughs> Not sure it's up for what could come next. <laughs> What was he thinking saying all that? Way to make us worry. Eh, he'll be fine. He knows what he's doing. Isn't there any way we can contact him? Like, asking Makoto Sis or something? Maybe. No. Public security has their eye on us. Trying to make contact with him would very likely have the opposite effect. Oh, okay. Fair enough. I know it's frustrating, but waiting is our only option right now. Ooh. Phone call. Oh. Well, why don't you answer it for him? Yeah, we can answer. Hello? Is this Cafe LeBlanc? <laughs> uh, good old Toshiro. He knew we would be here. Uh, my name is Representative. Uh, I mean, uh, my name is Kasukabe. Hey, Kasukabe. Long time no see, bud. Hey, did he say Kasukabe? Yep, he did. Um, Toshiro? Oh. That voice. Is that you? Yep. <laughs> Good old Joker. Good to hear from you. Toshiro! Hey, you doing okay? Could that be Morgana? Yep. Wouldn't you be in cab form right now? Should I speak in feline? Meow! <laughs> <laughs> Are you making fun of me? This is just a temporary guise I used to keep out of the public eye. That's funny. I was not expecting Toshiro to meow. So, what's up? You had everyone here worried. Yeah, everyone is pretty worried around here. Forgive me. I refrained from contacting you to avoid any potential trouble that might have put you in. That was a good idea. I'm sure you know from the news by now, but things have been pretty hectic on my end. 
Makes sense. As for my father and Marie, they'll likely be arrested with their co-conspirators very soon. Co-conspirators? I wonder how many there were. I wanted to make sure you all were aware of that. Oh, good to hear. I see. You did well, Toshiro. Yeah, you did perfect, bud. Anyways, I've been tied up in hearings every day, and it looks like I'll only be getting even busier moving forward. Makes sense. I also still have to figure out what I'm going to do now that I'm not a representative anymore. Go find Arena. Or Eri. <laughs> I think she's still around from what we basically completely pieced together. Well, any ideas so far? I know I want to start over. I want to become a politician I'm proud to be. Hmm. Of course, I still don't know what kind of sentence I'll get. I don't think you'll get one. So, maybe expecting a fresh start isn't very realistic. Fair enough. But even so, I think I still want to take on the challenge. <laughs> I want to be the kind of politician people can trust to take a stand and fight by their side. Okay. Well, good luck. Thanks. And one day... We'll all meet up again. Don't worry. We'll turn our society into a place that no longer needs the Phantom Thieves. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> you can do that. That's a bold claim, Mr. Big Shot. Let's see what you got then. Yep, it's all on you now, Toshiro. See what you can do. Well, it's been great hearing your voices again. I must say goodbye for now. Yeah, we'll see you later, Toshiro. Have a good one. I probably won't be able to come by the cafe anytime soon. But I'll be sure to visit one day. <laughs> well, we'll be waiting for you. Alright then. Tell everyone I say hi, will you? Of course. Thank you, Phantom Thieves. Stay well. You too, bud. Surprised about that one. There's no doubt it'll be a bumpy road. It's been under a lot of fire online from what I've seen. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, the internet's already bent on canceling Toshiro and his dad. Why Toshiro though? His dad's pretty much the main problem. No surprise there though. Honestly, it'd be strange if they didn't go after them. Mm -hmm. No matter how admirable your ideals may be. At the end of the day, it's the constituents that get to decide. Fair. He'll have to restart his whole race from scratch. Actually, more than that, he'll be behind the starting line. Yeah, more than likely. He had to know what he was getting himself into, right? He knew, but he's okay with it. He did. Yoshiro said he was going to fight, and this only shows just how serious he was. It really does. Doing what you think is right doesn't always produce positive results. Which is fair. But he made the decision to stay the course and showed no regrets about what that meant. Regardless of how things began, he still learned a great deal from how he carried himself. Which is true. Yes, we certainly did. Someday, I hope everyone will understand what they stood for. Yeah, hopefully. What kind of action can we take? We don't have the metaverse or any of that anymore, so it's kind of just a, we just sit back and wait. That's true. Wouldn't want Toshiro and Arena to laugh at us. Uh, I don't know what you guys have planned. So each of us will keep fighting for our respective goals. Does that sound about right? Okay, that makes more sense. Just live their lives, basically. And fight we must. First, I will battle this empty stomach. Result of an equally empty wallet. <laughs> oh crap. I'm looking at extra classes if I don't put up a good fight against that quiz tomorrow. <laughs> True. Big ambitions, I see. <laughs> As for you, on, don't forget to fight that appetite of yours, or you'll be kicking yourself for it again. Probably. Shut it! Uh, you know what? I'm fighting you instead. <laughs> Knowing how she likes sweets, she definitely is probably hungry right now. I'm confiscating that candy as punishment! <laughs> See? Like I said. Hey, stop! You'll spill them! My goodness. Settle down, you two. A curry for me, please. <laughs> <laughs> me too! 
Jeez, they're all thinking about food. Aren't you really trying to score free grub in the middle of all this? Yep. Oh boy. But what now, though? Doesn't matter how many times we have to fight for our lives. Some things never change, huh? Yep, that is... Yeah, <laughs> Noth some things never change. Someone's life. Which is true. We saved Toshiro quite a number of times there. There's no doubt the will we showed in battle got through to Toshiro and the others. At least from what we could see. Every person who takes a stand gives someone else a push of encouragement. Maybe that's how this flame of revolution gets passed on. Maybe. Well, I'd like to pass the baton soon. I still want to keep pushing. I'd like to pass the baton soon to somebody else. I agree. Getting whisked here and there at this rate is gonna run us ragged. Yeah, I'm pretty true. At least a half year or so to kick back would be nice. <laughs> now then, we don't have much time left to spend like this. Yeah, we really don't, do we? Why don't you make some coffee for everyone? Something that'll really knock their socks off. <laughs> yeah, they definitely have. What now, though? Are we going into the credits? Or is there still something left? Yep, it's the credits. I'll see you guys after the credits, then. It's been a blast hanging out with you guys, like, seriously, but I'll see you guys after the credits for sure. These words I spell out in my heart Hope they will reach you far away
Thank you. I look forward to your support. Like I finally caught up. I've been waiting. Okay, and this is actually going to be pretty much the end of today's episode, but before we end off, challenges have been added as DLC as bonus. Access these new challenges through the DLC menu. If you load, you can you know, obviously do a new game plus, and then original data will not be able to be resumed. Okay, interesting. But obviously, if you want to create a cleared uh, vision of everything. What a great end to the game, by the way. I was, I'm really happy that Aerie and, and Toshiro were able to finally re reunite. So to confirm that she's still alive, that's really nice to see. That was really, that was a really nice ending for the game. I'll definitely have to say that. But with that being said, honestly, we are now officially over with that part of our adventure. We do still have, obviously, the DLC. Apparently some challenge stages. Not sure how those are going to go, but we'll look into those maybe. There's five of them, and then obviously the DLC itself. Obviously DLC is for sure something we're going to do. But with that being said, thank you all so much for watching today's episode. It's been a blast hanging out with you guys like always. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the Paint Your Heart DLC with uh, Kasumi or Samire and apparently Robin Hood uh, Ketchy, which is going to be pretty great, crazy. With that being said, thank y'all for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Keep being spooky, and peace out. Hey, boys and girls, thank y'all for watching today's episode. If you liked what you saw today, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. And hit the bell notification down below. If you guys have any kind of suggestions for games, please put that in the comments down below as well. Thank y'all for watching today's episode, and keep being spooky. Peace out, guys.